What's going on guys? Ricky Burrows here for another video. I want to talk about the benefits of changing your mind. Now we all change our mind in a little things, you know, little things here and there that just, uh, uh, for example, like if you're driving a standard car, you're used to the clutch and you, um, you change gears and then all of a sudden, you know, you're just, you're just driving along. But what happens when you go from a standard to an automatic? That is something that you start playing tricks with yourself. You actually, um, you look for the shifter and you look for the clutch and then you're like, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's not there. And then you just keep going. And eventually, within a very short period of time, you just, you tell yourself that it's no longer necessary to look for the clutch because it automatically the car automatically changes gears for you you don't have to shift the gears the car is actually doing all that without your you know without you even understanding how it all works and so when you change your mind <clears throat> on these things you benefit from it and so it can be it can be challenging you know when you when you go to change your mind because you have to trust something you have to say is you know is this actually going to work and then you eventually just see that it proves itself that it that it actually works and when you prove something that actually is beneficial for changing your mind you're saying you know what, if i change my thoughts and if i think a certain way then i'm going to have a greater result i heard this I heard this absolutely phenomenal um, um, phrase um, from a former pastor, and he said that people, when they, of course, this has been said elsewhere. You know, other people have already said this um, all over the place. But this, this was the first time where I heard it. He said, "People change when the the pain." of remaining the same remaining in the same pain that they're in is worse than the pain of changing it so the pain of remaining the same is worse than the pain of change and when <laughs> when people understand that that's when they decide to change a very very large percentage of people the whole the 87 percent was the number that was thrown out there so it's a very large amount of people when they realize that when they, you know, taking the risk and changing their thoughts versus um, staying right where they are, if, if they change their thoughts, that they're actually going to have uh, better results than if they were going to stay where they are. I'm a maintenance electrician. I don't have the luxury yet of being... Uh, um, self-sustaining uh, making tons of money on the internet so I don't have to have a job I'm not at that point yet I will get there uh, but I'm a electrical maintenance um, technician basically I work in a um, a printing facility and <clears throat> I basically fix the printing press Electric, uh, the electrical problems when things just go wrong so there have been people who have been in this industry for like 35 40 years like just like printing paper and they just they have this they have this like fear of change you know they they they, they dreaded change they fear change and I'm actually seeing the the end result of all this I'm actually seeing them at, at the end of their lives where they're going where they're kind of reflect where they are they're reflecting on their whole life and they're saying what have I really accomplished and and all they really wanted was was security you know they wanted to feel secure and <laughs> oh I heard one guy say that, you know, he's like, yeah, if they fire me, if they get rid of me, then, oh, well. 
And I was kind of, it took me back. I was like, dude, you've been here for 40 years. And you're like, well, if they fire me, then oh well. It's like, well, you know, what are you accomplishing in your life? You know, what are you doing? You're sitting on your phone all day that you didn't have, you know, five years ago. You know, now that you got it. You know, what's... It's just amazing to me. It really is. It's just phenomenal. But I want to I leave you with a point. That when you make the decision to change your thoughts for the greater good and not to hurt yourself. Uh, I mean, you know, stop trying to do things that are just like blatantly just stupid and dumb. You know, if you're... You, you got to help yourself. You really do. And when people are afraid to do that, they're going to be afraid to do that their whole lives. There's nothing that's going to stop them. There's nothing that's going to change them. They don't realize that they have all the power to change their own thoughts, their beliefs, their, their mindset. You have been given a, a precious gift to, to make up your own thoughts, to make up your own mind. It's amazing. It's, it's really amazing and very mysterious and uh, it's something that you should not take lightly. Nobody else has the power and a lot of people think this way. Nobody else actually has or possesses the full power or potential to control your thoughts. Only you control your thoughts. Only you control it. Not somebody else. Not somebody else who was, you know, who, who came to this earth and did something horrible to you and then they left and now they're not here on the earth. Notice that? You notice that? How like, you know, how some bad people have, have done bad things to you or, you know, or other people. And then they still blame that bad person who is no longer on the earth for the behavior that they do today. It's not, it's not anybody else's. It, it is all you. Your thoughts. Are, you are in control of all your thoughts. You are in control of all of your behaviors. And then you are in control of the end result. And so the benefit of changing your mind is that you can change it. And when you're, and when you're just going to make the decision and you, and you change your mind, you change your thoughts, some really amazing things start happening. So again, I'm an electrician and I work on these like really complex systems and stuff that you would you would look at and a lot of people just kind of like run away. But, you know, after being around this stuff for so long, you just get used to it and you're just like, okay, let's just take it one step at a time and solve the problem. And I enjoy that kind of stuff. But um I I tip I've seen problems that I've never seen before. You know, I um, I, I've come across things that like I have, I have no idea how how things work. But we got instruction manual. We've got you know people who say this is how it should work, and I'm, I'm, I'm just happy as a clown at that point. I'm like, okay, okay, we got a lot to work with here. We got, we got, we got drawings. We got, we got people who know how the, how the press should work. And then I'm telling myself, I was like, okay, everything's going to be okay. We're just going to have to, like, you know, crunch away at this and pound away at this. And um, about 90% of the time, about 90% of all the problems in this thing, in this organization, is small stuff. It's always the smallest thing that always has the most, it causes the most problems. That has all the power to like to dis to derail everything. It's 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 really mysterious to me. And at first, it was really irritating to me. I, w I was looking at myself, and I'm going like, "Why is it that like all these small things just have so much control over everything?" Like the previous video I made, there was a um, um there was a little. Um, I explained it in the video where I was just, there was this tiny little 
device that it broke a little piece of plastic broke off which dislodged it from um, its little holding place like it was being held in place it broke away and so when someone tried to push the button to like activate it it couldn't because it you know it was it was dislodged and um and it stopped everything and I'm like man all these tiny little things <laughs> All these tiny little things have unbelievable amounts of power to control everything. <laughs> I mean, I was just so amazed at it. But, but um, oh, uh, maybe I'm getting a point here. So, uh, the benefits of just changing your mind. The benefits of changing your mind is that you can change it, and that it's there are. This is this is something that's totally helped me. This is something that's actually helped me uh, when I go to change my mind. What are the consequences? I, ask yourself that. What are the consequences of changing your mind? What are the consequences? You know, I mean, that's really where I, where I'll leave it at. Yeah. You know? You know, you gotta have a good moral conscience. You gotta have uh, good active uh, spiritual fitness. If you uh, you struggle with that kind of thing, just get a hold of me. You know, just you know, we'll talk about that, guys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. It will absolutely help you um, improve your your confidence. It will definitely help you to change your mindset appropriately so that you take the correct actions for yourself uh, financially because because your mindset absolutely absolutely has to be in the right place if you decide you're going to go like venture off into like an internet business this is not something you try this is something you do this is not something that like well if i don't like it well you get the wrong mindset you change your thoughts and you go from employee mentality to um, independent. You know you're gonna make your own money, and it's hard. But this, this, um, this, um, let's get the word, man. <laughs> but this, uh, this audio is absolutely going to help you to excel, so that you understand the benefits of changing your mind. Okay. I'll leave a link in the description below. Guys, I care about you. I make these videos for you. Um, I, I really enjoy giving out value. If you want to see specific videos about anything, leave a comment below um, and just give me some feedback, message me, that sort of thing. Like and subscribe if you're watching this for the first time. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.